नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू ई लर्नर साहब यू आर वॉचिंग एस पी डॉट नेट सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल लर्न यूजिंग अजैक्स एक्सटेंशन इन एस पी डॉट नेट बिफोर वी गो टू द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ यूजिंग अजैक्स एक्सटेंशन इन एस पी डॉट नेट लेट सी वॉट वी मीन बाई अजैक्स अजैक्स स्टैंड फॉर ओसन जाओ स्क्रिप्ट इन एक्सएम एल सो दैट इज द क्रॉस प्लेटफॉर्म टेक्नोलॉजी दैट हेल्प्स दिस क्रिएट partial post packs in our web page post pack is basically uh, basically the process when a page is submitted to the server for processing so normally the entire page is, is submitted to the process, to the server for processing purpose on 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 websites so it that consumes lot of bandwidth and and many a times if your page has lot of content then it takes time to download the entire content on your page so here ajax can help you to send partial post packs that means you can send just partial pages partial page from your web page and you can refresh only that particular section of your web page so this is where ajax help us to partial post packs so as a result the response time is uh, speed up so the response time is reduced basically and you can see the contents on your web page appearing faster ajax extensions are basically the collection of ajax server controls that we can use on our web pages web pages for partial responses or partial post packs so let's have a look at the ajax server controls so ajax server controls consist of five controls that we can use on our web page script manager script manager proxy timer update panel and update progress so these are the five controls that basically used for implementing ajax on any web page so ajax helps us to create uh, dynamic pages wherein you can have partial refreshes on your page so script manager is the most important control or you can say the master control to use ajax so on whichever page you want to implement ajax you need to have a script manager control in place on that page then we need we need to have update panel now update panel is a container kind of control that holds all the controls that you want to refresh for your page so you can update set of controls by placing them in the update panel the timer control can be used to set the timer after how much time you want to update that particular section of your page so you can set the time interval so say for example after maybe a minute or after every 2 minutes so that depends on the, the use of your page so for every refresh you will see the for every time interval you will see that your page refreshes or the controls in the update panel refreshes similarly we can use script manager proxy and update progress so script manager proxies are basically used in case if you are using the master pages so your script manager control will be there on the master page and script manager proxy will be there on the other pages so script manager proxy will communicate with the script manager control internally and uh, the pages will get refreshed update progress can be used to show the progress uh, of some activity going on in the web page for example when the user logs in till the next page appears you can show the progress that your page is getting loaded or something like that so this is how the ajax server controls are used so in the next video we'll see the demonstration of the ajax server controls so we we'll create a web page wherein we will implement the script manager control the timer and the update panel control if you like the video please click on the like button and share your views and suggestions in the comment section and also encourage us by subscribing to our channel and please do not forget to click on the alert bell so that you remain updated with all our new videos on our channel See you in the next videos till then take care and be safe thank you